Okay, welcome back. And we've just been joined by Muda Shuru with the Sports News and Analysis. Hello, Muda. It's good to be here on the show. All right, let's have it. That's definitely, um, we have two interesting um, stories in the world of sports. Uh, most times um, we focus on what's going on in, um, in Nigeria. Yeah? And the first have to take us to um, the Flamingos. The federal government is yet to host um, the under-17 women's national team that brought so much joy to us. You know, we're celebrating because um, that's the first time any African team will get to to the bronze medal of um, the World Cup. So it's interesting. And this is almost 175 days um, after that. And there's so much tension going on that why is the federal government not hosting them? Why is it that um, with all the joy they brought to us, we are unable to host them? But information getting to us is that um, the media aid to the Minister of Youth and Sport, Toi um, Ibitoye, who is a well-known sport um, journalist himself, had said that perhaps is due to the um, tight schedule of um, the president, that's um, they had going, um, President Mohamed Buhari, and um, some are scared that um, this is just a normal thing they do all the time, that they might, it might be the, the, the demand to see the president might not see the light of today. So that's what's trending um, across the group. And uh, a lot of people want to let's take our mind to what um, they did. For example, Okwayemi, um, player of the match award in India, and um, she did that. And I'm sure historically, this is the first time any African team will do that. So we're already hoping that in Perhaps the incoming president will do that. We are also open with a few days left that um, the presidency at least will do something for, for the girls. So it's more like the whole world is talking about it, it's trending. Why do the federal government don't really um, respect or do according to their words? And um, I'm, I'm sure there's more to talk on that subsequent on, on, on um, various um, platform across um, social media. Yes, away from football, it's still football matters, but in the Nigerian Professional Football League today, we are, what's going on across um, that cycle is that um, Ben Densha and some few days ago um, did something we're all looking forward to, and that was against economy. Like in football and in life, most times, why one side rejoice, the other side is always having it myself to blame, you know. But this time around, is Ben Densha's really, really happy about what they've done after five or goals, um, five draws in a row, Bolton and A, they keep drawing 0 0 one, one they did against Ekanemi. Well, now, that means that Ekanemi will probably, if not get a win before the end of um, the season, that um, they will go relegation. So, the group leaders, they are, they are in the group that second like, Bender Insurance with 31 points after 15 matches, but defeat um, we further do a lot for, for them. But economy, chance of surviving in this um, professional football league this season in Group A, with just nine points from the same number of games. Nine points, not good for the well-known um, economy um, warriors. But I think we should, we should go for this track and see how interesting it is that um, two goals that um, Bender Insurance scored, and let's see how economy scored um, a late goal, but that was not enough to salvage a point for them. That's, um, that's an interesting moment at, um, in Samuel Gbemudia Stadium. And that's all on this segment of the show. Let's not forget, same time, we'll give you all the talking points in sports on the breakfast. Well, thank you so much, Muda Shirashitu. And just before we go, we give you the quote of the day, uh, which is that your present circumstances do not determine where you go. They merely determine where you start. And that's from Nido Kuben. Nyango, it's time to go. Yeah, we, we, we better go. Tomorrow we are going to return here uh, with another uh, bumper edition, if I may. And uh, we hope that you're going to be there. Until then, bye for now. Bye. <laughs>